What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome and this is my Pavo Pico 2 with my DJI 04 uh, light air unit installed. Now, I started to do a live uh, build and <laughs> it was not great. So if you wanna see how this thing is put together, don't watch my video. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, Beta FPV's video down below. It's not terribly difficult, it's just kind of a little bit tedious. So, but what I want to do is show you how to get this thing up in the air. I'm using the Beta FPV Pavo Pico 2, but this is the same process to get any DJI 04 air unit up in the air. So, you may have this drone, you may have another. It'll be the same process. You'll need a radio, you'll need your goggles and you'll probably need a battery as well as a connecting cable to connect to your computer you're going to need a uh, beta flight you're also going to need the dji app on your computer in order to uh, turn on or to uh, activate i should say the o4 air unit so the first thing i'm going to do is connect this thing to my computer i need this little dongle that came with it that's usb-c and then I just plug it into the back of the drone and then connect that to my computer. So I've got that plugged in. I'm gonna plug that in. I see some lights come on and I'm gonna go to beta flight. Okay, I've connected. You can see that the drone is behaving how it's supposed to. I'm just gonna run through some of the different things. There's really nothing I need on ports. Uh, configuration, probably not. I just wanna make sure that my D-Shot beacon configuration is on, which it is. Uh, air mode is on, let's see, presets, I don't have to worry about PID tuning, I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, receiver, I will have to deal with. Uh, the one thing that I like to do in the CLI is set uh, crash recovery to on, that way when I'm flying acro mode and I bump into stuff, um, it just helps me recover. Uh, I want to check on my modes tab, so I don't fly in horizon, I'm going to turn that off. I like my beeper on aux 4 and I like my flip over after crash on aux 3. No, I lied. I want that on aux 4. I liked how it was. And I like my beeper on aux 3 safe. Because this is Express LRS, I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. So I'm going to go into my Wi Fi, connect, uh, click on Express LRS RX. I'm going to connect. And I'm going to open my browser and I need to go to, what is it, 10.0.0.1. I've done this before, you can see. And now I'm in here. I'm going to go ahead and type in the binding phrase that I use, right? The binding phrase that I use on my radio. Now, I already set this up. If you don't know how to do that, that's a different video, but... My binding phrase is already built into this. Now I'm going to tell my drone what the binding phrase is, which, surprise, it's half chrome. Click save. So I'm going to scroll down to the uh, receiver tab. And what we need to do, now this is really important, especially if things aren't working right for you. Uh, grab your radio and make sure that it is responding the way that it should. You can see my switches also responding appropriately. So I'm good. If this guy is spinning, then you could have other issues. Sometimes changing the channel map to one of these others uh, will do the trick, but uh, that is it. Okay, now I need to also connect it to my goggles. So I'm gonna power them on, tap, then hold to so turn on your goggles. And I'm going to need a uh, battery here to connect my drone. Now, inside my goggles, I need to make sure that I am on the right uh, mode and I have to set it to the DJI 04 unit. Um, I can't show you inside the goggles, uh, but basically, basic menus, find DJI 04 and tell it that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to go to status um, and then I'm going to switch to my DJI 04 air unit. Click on that, tell it to switch over, and it'll make that switch, but it's not going to connect right away. I have to pair this, these goggles to this air unit. So to do that, there is a little button on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and press that button. Right now we're blinking, 
And this, I'm going to hold my power button until it beeps. And green light. And now I can see the picture here, but it's saying air unit not activated, functionality limited. So now what I have to do is connect this to my computer, use a DJI Assistant, and go through a whole nother fun step. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I'm going to activate this thing and I highly recommend you grab a fan. It didn't work the first time I tried because it was overheating. So I've got this little USB fan. I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my drone in. And I'm going to connect my air unit. Fire up your DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series, plug it in. You may have to allow it and click on the air unit and it'll start activating. Now you're gonna have to make sure that you are logged in. If you're not logged in, this will not work. Uh, you have to have, make sure you have DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. Don't be fooled by the FPV-1. It's gotta be that. And now we fly it.